Hi, I'm Amy Wolf with ViewCast. Cloning, stem cell research, and genetic testing are just a few of the issues that fit under the highly controversial and evolving umbrella of bioethics. Soon a Vanderbilt professor will play a role in how President Obama acts on these type of issues. Associate Professor of Law and Philosophy Nita Farahani will soon be appointed to the Presidential Commission for the Study of Bioethical Issues. So it is humbling to know that something that um, I deliberate about and uh, offer as a possibility, a, a suggestion, a recommendation to the, um, to the president could have some effect, some real change on policy. That is um, both humbling and frightening, of course, because uh, you know it's something that I take very seriously. You can read more about the commission on law.vanderbilt.edu. You can read more about Farahani's research and commentary on vanderbilt.edu slash authors slash Nita Farahani. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, uranium. Catch your breath and get ready to expand that song with a new element for the periodic table. Vanderbilt physicist Joe Hamilton helped discover element 117. This is an animation of how element 117 came to be. The work it took to find 117 links scientists at Vanderbilt, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, and a nuclear research center in Russia. Read the full story on vanderbilt.edu slash exploration. The debate over health care, especially for those with little or no insurance, is certainly on a lot of people's minds these days. But for a group of Vanderbilt medical students, the health care crisis is something they're already tackling, one patient at a time. Carol Bartu has more on a student-run clinic fast becoming a key part of an East Nashville neighborhood. Second-year medical student Daniel Kaler is on the team offering patient education at Shade Tree tonight. His patient is Gilberto Morales. Walk right in here, we can have a seat. A diabetic. So last time we talked, I wanted to follow up on something you know fairly important. Last time we talked on the phone, we bumped up your statin to you manage your cholesterol. Kaler and Morales aren't so much patient and doctor as they are a team working together to keep Morales healthy since Morales lost his job more than two years ago. I was off July and, and I knew that I need something to do with my A1C and my medicine stuff, but I decided to postpone it to see if I can manage to get a job. But in about January of that year, I knew that I, would, I could not find a job. Yeah, if I were you, I would, I would recommend you know, changing your simvastatin to taking that in the evening as well, just, just the same one pill. When he lost insurance coverage, Morales had to tell his regular doctor he could no longer afford to see her, but she insisted he needed care. You were diabetic. You had to be checking pretty much constantly. So I say, well, what can I do now? He said, but you know what? Go to this place. It, it was here. Morales' wife has cancer. She stopped her treatments when the family's money ran out. But now, at Shade Tree, she is again receiving care. I, I'm a firm believer that everybody should have medical attention. And the second thing I like to check regularly is your liver enzymes. And it's an asset to the community. It is. It is an asset to the community. Shade Tree Medical Director Dr. Robert Miller says the clinic began as the student's idea and it continues to be their project. The goal was to offer care for free and to learn about medicine, but mostly they do it because the need for care is critical. I mean, they absolutely need it. I mean, what is a diabetic going to do that doesn't have a job, lives with another family member, has no source of income, and has no insurance? I mean, that's who Shade Tree takes care of. Miller and other Vanderbilt faculty say they follow the students' passion, and that passion spreads every year. Now students from the School of Nursing, Pharmacy, Social Work, and many other disciplines also volunteer at Shade Tree. You know, we're, we're all here as, you know, as a team and, and facilitate his health care, and I think over and beyond that, no. it's, uh, you know, it just gives me a sense of happiness knowing that when I call him after he came in last week and received his laboratory results, you know, he was, you know, overwhelmed and speechless just for, you know, just for a couple of seconds, you know, a short period of time. And just really thrilled with uh, the work that he's put into it. And I think to some small degree, the dedication that we've given him in our medical care here at the clinic. These students are entering medicine at a pivotal time of change in their profession. 
They say this clinic helps them learn skills that have become more critical than ever, how to work as a team and how to connect with people. Deep down, I always have a spot for Ohio State. Yeah, but you don't have it right there. I, nah. <laughs> Maybe I can wear one on both sides. How about that? Ooh. Ooh. Uh, it's, it's, it's really a privilege to, to uh, you know, kind of feel that warmth and appreciation of just knowing that what we've done, and, and no matter how small it may be, is, is truly helping these patients with the care that they deserve. At the end of the night, there are some lessons that simply cannot be learned in the classroom. The students, I believe, are changed by their experience at Shade Tree. For ViewCast, I'm Carol Bartu. While recent health care reform may help pay for medical services starting in 2014, the Shade Tree Clinic needs help now. Supplies and medications cost more than $130,000 a year. Vanderbilt is a big supporter, but students themselves also work to raise money for the clinic. Their biggest annual fundraiser is coming up on May 1st. Get details on the Shade Tree Trot at shadetreeclinic.org slash trot. How many different things can you juggle at the same time? Now, I'm not talking about the usual career, finances, kids, and in my case, a baby who won't sleep through the night. I'm talking about Diablos, cigar boxes, clubs, rings, and even a giant cube. Every year, the Vanderbilt Juggling and Physical Arts Club presents Juggleville, a showcase of acrobatics, hooping, breakdancing, and yes, juggling. In conjunction with a local troupe founded by Vandy alum Jacob Weiss called Playing by Air, Juggleville is by turns humorous and hypnotic. If you missed the sold out performances, you can still watch the entire show at juggleville.com or youtube.com slash Vanderbilt. I'll toss four flying Commodores in the air for Juggleville. For ViewCast, I'm Amy Wolf.